Hi everyone! Today I'm going to teach you how to do a reading pillow cover with an envelope backing. Um, we started this project in one of my sewing classes and with the quarantine and everything we haven't been able to finish so I'm kind of making this tutorial to help my class finish and thought I would just make it for anyone who wants um, a fun project to make. So basically what the pillow is going to look like, it's going to have like a little envelope, it's going to have a little pocket on the front of it where kids can keep their books tucked in there. And then on the back there will be an envelope opening. So to start with you're going to need one piece of fabric size 19 by 19 because this is going to fit an 18 by 18 pillow. Um, and so we need to make the square 19 by 19 because once we account for our seam allowance, it'll be about 18 by 18 once we're done. So you're going to need one square that is size 19 you're by 19. You're going to need um, four pieces that are 11 by 19. This is going to be for your envelope backing. I ran out of this fabric. You want it to match your front piece. I ran out of this polka dot fabric, so I'm just using this. You're not even going to see this because it's going to be on the inside. So it can be either four pieces of the same that matches your envelope front or your pillowcase front or if you need to just fill in with a couple of rectangles with whatever you have that's fine because you're not going to see the blue pieces you'll see later but either way you're going to need four four pieces that are 11 by 19 and then also you're going to need two pieces the same size 11 by 19 for your pocket so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make our pocket so we're going to take our fabric and this of course is going to be the top part of our pocket and so we're going to put our fabrics right sides together matching these this top and we're going to place our pins in here And then we are just going to sew a half inch seam, half inch seam allowance. We're using half inch seam allowance on this whole project. So if you're ever wondering, and I forget to tell you, that's what it is. So we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew half inch seam allowance right here. Okay, so make sure your length is between two and three. You're on your straight stitch width. Well, we'll be at zero. Mine's a little bit different on my machine, but... Always make sure you back stitch, and we're just following the half inch seam allowance and sewing all the way down on our pocket. So for our envelope backing, our envelope opening, we're going to do the same thing that we did with our pocket. We're going to take, this is going to be the front side that you'll see, and then you're going to match it to one of these um, filler pieces. So you're pieces. just going to match, um, match your seam and just, just like you did for your pocket, you're going to just do the top for one, um, trying to keep your edges even, and then you'll do it on both of them. You're going to pin both of these, and then you're just going to take this over to your sewing machine and you will sew your seam half inch seam allowance on this. You're only doing one side, you're not doing the other side. So just one long side of each of those back covers. And now we're just gonna do the same thing that we did for our pocket. We're gonna be doing the exact same thing for our backing. So just the one seam and the half inch seam allowance line. So now you're going to bring your, your um, pockets and also your backing pieces 
You're going to iron your seam open. And I apologize if you hear my kids screaming and playing in the background. Quarantine life. There's no way to video without them here because they are always here. So you're going to iron your seam open and then you're going to fold it over and make sure that that seam sits right on top along your fold line and iron it down this way. And you are going to repeat this exact same thing on your two backing pieces. Okay, so now I have my two backing pieces. One, two, and like I said, I used that, that other fabric and you're not even gonna see that when it's done. So there's that, and then here's our um, pocket for the front of our pillow. Now something to note about the back envelope. Um, we are gonna be placing the backs to where they overlap. So you're, you're gonna have one seam going down this way and one seam going up that way. So what that means is that if you have a pattern with a direction like the Buzz Lightyear, you want to make sure that the seam is on top of one of them. Here, let me turn it this way so you can see. You want the seam to be on top of one that you're sewing and then you're gonna want it to be on the bottom of that second piece so that when you're piecing it together, it's not upside down, if that makes sense. So just remember, if you have a direction to sew one of your seams across the top of the pattern and on your second one, you're gonna sew along the bottom of your pattern. That way, when you put it together, you know, it's not gonna be upside down. See, this would be upside down. Well, I'll do it your direction so you can see but because this piece is gonna go down here and this piece is gonna go up here, um, you don't want this to be upside down. So I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, then you can just leave me a question in the comments, I, I guess. But I think you'll figure it out once you start putting it all together. So now you're going to take your pillow front piece and you're gonna take your pocket piece and you're gonna lay it on top matching all your edges as, as even as possible. If your pieces are not cut out completely evenly, then it's not gonna match up completely evenly and you can trim them if you need to. Um, see, mine's a little bit longer right there. It's just cause I didn't cut it perfect, but it'll be fine to trim that up. Um, notice that my seam here is at the top of my pillow. You don't want the raw edge right here because you don't want a raw edge on your pocket. You want, this is gonna be your pocket once you're done. So we're just gonna baste this down. So I'm just gonna stick a couple pins in on the side and I'm just gonna baste down the sides over at my machine. So remember a basting stitch is a long stitch. Turn your length to a four and then just baste down the sides. So I'm just basting at half inch. There's no back stitch on a base. We're just trying to hold it in place so that when we put it all together, it doesn't slide around. So there's one side and then we'll do the other side as well. Okay. So now our pocket is basted on and now we're gonna put the envelope back. So we wanna put right sides together for this. So this is gonna be the top piece and you're gonna put the right side together. It might not matter if you're using the same fabric. You want that finished seam to be in the middle. So we're gonna put one down here. We're gonna match our sides and our top evenly and we are gonna pin this down across the top here. And you can put some in the side. Put as many pins as you feel like you need. Some people feel like they need more pins than others, and that's okay. It's whatever you need to feel like you have control of the fabric. Now we're gonna take our second piece 
And again, that seam has to be in the middle of the pillow. The raw edges are going to meet the raw edges at the bottom and at the side. And then we are going to pin down here as well. So your, your pillow backing, your envelope is going to be overlapping each other. And that's exactly what you want. So continue pinning all the way around. Make sure that you definitely get pins in where you are overlapping. You definitely want to get pins in there to hold that in place. And then we're just going to take it over to our machine and we are going to sew a half inch seam allowance all the way around. Okay, I'm going to start up here like at the top. I'm not going to start somewhere where I have a side. So I'm going to just go in here. Make sure you change your stitch because we just basted. So make sure you change it back to your regular length. And you can back stitch. We're going to be meeting back up with that stitch. And remember if you're sewing over that back stitch when you get back to the beginning, that's the same as a back stitch. So back stitch isn't completely necessary, but it is kind of helpful in case you don't meet back evenly. Um, when you get to the corner, remember you're going to pivot. Pivot means that your needle is down. The needle has to be down when you pivot. Lift your presser foot, turn, and we are right back on that half inch. If you're not at that half inch yet, then you'll want to come in and take another stitch or two until you're at the half inch. So we're going to continue here, and then you are going to be going over where it's doubled up. So make sure you get that nice and even. If you need to, if you need to pick up your presser foot a little bit and just tuck that fabric under to make sure it doesn't like flip up, then you can do that. Take out your pins. And you can notice it's, it's not perfectly even. Um, and sometimes that happens, just depends on how accurate you are with your cutting. And that's okay. Don't stress out about it. Okay, so now we're back at the beginning and you can see I'm going to go right over that same stitch and you know what I actually think would be a great idea is if you go over it one more time, it's going to make your pillow cover stronger. So if you just want to stitch over your exact same stitching one more time, um, try to stay on it as much as possible. And just sew around it a second time. That'll give your pillow cover a little more strength and durability. And now we're back and we're just gonna go over it a few more times, a few more stitches, and we are done. You can come pull that out. Clean up all of your long threads. You don't want any long threads in there. And then the last thing you're going to want to do is you want to come in here and you want to clip your corners to but not through the stitching. So come in here and clip your corners so that when you turn your pillowcase right side out those corners aren't super thick and bulky. You also want to make sure that you got all of your layers through here. You want to make sure that all of your layers made it through on both ends. But that's why I recommend pinning a lot because sometimes if you don't pin enough one of these layers might you know, move out of place and then you won't catch all the layers. So just double check that before you're done. And now we're just going to flip our pillow cover right side out. Make sure that you get those corners. I always take my finger into the corner and then just pinch it around. 
This is your opening. I need to get those corners a little bit better here. I want them nice and sharp. And then we're just gonna take our iron. And again, you want that seam to be right up on the fold line here. And you can take your iron across to give it a nice good finish. And you'll go around your whole pillowcase or pillow cover and pull that seam out to the fold and just iron it down. And that is all there is to it. You are done with your pillow cover. Now you're gonna take your pillow insert and you can just put it right inside this pocket opening. Slide that in there and get the top half underneath that opening. And tuck it all in. Now you have your cute pillow cover. You can keep your books in here for your kids to read at night. And there you go. For other good tutorials to learn how to sew or find another fun project to work on, be sure to check out my website or check out my YouTube. And have fun sewing. Thanks for joining me today.